Hey guys, what's going on? Today I will be doing a tutorial and showcase for the plugin Luck Perms GUI created by BGHD Development. This plugin is compatible with Minecraft versions 1.8 and its only dependency is Luck Perms. So as you guys would imagine, this actually ma manages groups, users, and tracks through a convenient GUI menu. So to start, we can go ahead and download the plugin and we are running the latest version of LuckPerms, which is LuckPerms 5. So we're going to have to uh, make an extension for this and we're also going to have to download um, this extension as well. So here we can go into our uh, server here, into our plugins folder, that's where we are right now. And we can go ahead and add in LuckPerms GUI. Thing. Uh, we're not going to restart the server yet. We also have to go into LuckPerms itself, and right here we have to make a new folder, new di directory called extensions. Perfect. And then inside the extensions folder, we are going to upload that extensions legacy. And there we go. From there, we're going to restart the server that we have this loaded on. Bang. So after that, uh, we should be able to go ahead and join the server smoothly. Alrighty guys, we are ready to see this plugin in live action now. Uh, just to reiterate, if you are using LuckPerms 4, you do not have to do any of the additional steps with the extensions folder or anything like that. You can just drop the jar in and restart the server. So the base command for this plugin is going to be slash lpgui. The only permission associated with this plugin is going to be luckperms.gui. So upon opening this bad boy up, we are presented with a basic GUI menu that allows us to edit groups, users, or tracks. So let's go ahead and look at groups here. And here we can create a new group or view all of our existing groups. As you guys can see here, I mean, we do have a very high volume of groups so if we're to click on one of these you know we can view permissions there's a little bit of information about what each of these things are so our meta prefix suffix parent permissions here we can view all the permissions that are associated with this group there's none here um, let's look at something else like moderator that'll probably have a lot of permissions as you guys can see there are just pages and pages of various permissions and uh, you know if we were to just click we would actually remove it and LuckPerms actually lets us know that that permission has been removed from global so that is really nice as well that it hooks in so flawlessly uh, next up we can go ahead and create our own group so we can call it um, tester yep and as you guys can see here it has been successfully created we just have to find it or we have a test group here um, we can be all the permissions for that there's only one that's a luck perms GUI if we're to add in a permission it'll tell us very clearly what we have to do so the name of our permission we can just say tester dot info that's not a true permission or anything and then we can also put in what server or world we just put in global or just leave it blank and as you can see that has already been set up and we go back to our permissions, bang, it's in, expires, never, stuff like that. You can even add temp permissions, check if a group has a specific permission, um, parents, um, that affects you know what's your overall rank, stuff like that, meta, keys, weight, it's all there. You can even remove a group, so if we can just click, bang, test group has been deleted, it's now removed from this group, all very easy. If we're to click on users, this is just for um, users online. You can actually uh, remove ranks from all servers or um, edit offline users as well. Uh, we can go ahead and click on our friend Rowdy. As you guys can see, we can view all his permissions as well, just like what we saw earlier. And if we're just to click on any of these, uh, bang, it's removed. And we can even add parents as well. So, you know, we could just do set. Um, the parent group so we could even you know put them in as owner and then just set that in for global bang and now he inherits um, 
owner along with helper uh, and we can remove that just as easily as we edit it. Here we can adjust stuff like prefixes, suffixes, again primary groups, clone, promote, and demote. Last up we have the tracks. We only have one track but it's very easy to add in more. Ours is just from default uh, to member, member plus and as you can see you can very easily um, change and fluidly change the order of the tracks or you know um, delete the track rename it etc so again this really takes you know a lot of the confusion or a lot of stuff that would be otherwise overwhelming with flux perms and makes it quite uh, digestible for the average you know new server administrator so again I really like this plugin I like the GUI menu I think it's really helpful and it's really clean and most of all it's intuitive so yeah I'll leave a link to download this plugin down in the description below I'll also leave my server IP down below as well Barbercraft if you want to give my server a try thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you guys later peace